I was in fifth grade. It was about 12 a.m. at night, and I had a report due on blackwood ferrets and worrying to come. This may have been the start to my late night procrastination tendencies. Anyways, I was almost finished with my report when you came into the room to say, Monique, sweetie, you must be tired. I'll finish this project for you and you can go to sleep. I looked up and you said, Mom, how am I ever going to make it to college if I don't finish this project tonight on my own? You stared at me and said, College, Monique? You laughed and I then said, I love you. You stayed up with me that night with a dictionary in hand in case I needed it. You always had a dictionary with you when I was little. And I eventually finished that project, and to this day, I think I had the best project in the class. You see, the truth is, I had no idea what I was talking about when I told you I'd go to college. I don't even know where the idea of college came from. Nor did I really know what college was. But you remembered when I told you that night. And so as all kids do, I started to grow up. And I, as I grew into a teenager, I began to push you away. Because all teenagers are basically adults who think they know everything, right? But I did need you, and you were still always there for me, even though I may not have always been there for you. So as school became harder for me, you tried to help me with your dictionary still in hand. But I thought I didn't need your help anymore. What I failed to realize as a teenager was that you were more help than anyone in my life could have ever been. Even if you weren't able to teach me calculus, physics, or chemistry, you did so much more. If I slept past my alarm, it was you who woke me up. When I was hungry, it was you who fed me. When I was sick, it was you who took care of me. When I was crying over stupid boys, it was you who bought me ice cream. When my dad realized he couldn't care for our two, uh, our two dogs, it was you who took one in, even though you were working two jobs and taking care of two young girls. But you did it for us because you saw how much we loved both those dogs, and even if the ones that we took in was still an untrained, potty-trained puppy. Mom, I would see the reddest in your eyes when you wouldn't sleep because you had to work all night and wait, or wait up for my sister to come home because we were worried she would never show up. I would see the pain in your eyes when you couldn't take me to practice or school and I had to walk. I didn't mind it too much, but I saw how you felt bad. I never missed a day of school because it was you who got me there and it was you who showed me the value of an education. When I lost my motivation to study in my senior year, it was you who reminded me of that one night where we sat together all night to finish my project. The night I told you I was gonna to go to college. Well, here I am today, Mom. I'm the first person in my family to go to college straight out of high school. You're the strongest person I know and you're my biggest advocate. Thank you, Mom, for giving up your dreams to help me, help, to help me make mine come true. You inspire me to be the best version of myself every day, and I love you for that.